Welcome back to our channel. I'm so excited. Like, as I was setting up the camera, this little monster just crawled across the room for the first time ever. Like, she's kind of done the weird army crawl, wiggle, slash roll wherever she wants. And she finally figured out how to crawl. She's just over nine months old. And I'm so happy. You did so good job. You did so good. You did so good. Anyway, on today's plan of attack, I have to finish baby proofing this room, especially now that someone is officially mobile. Yes. <laughs> so on the list of things to do today, I have, have, have to hide the cord for Charlie's baby monitor. I said that last week. I never did it. So I just moved her crib away from the wall so that she couldn't reach it. But I'm I'm over it already. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that today, get that off the list. Now that someone's extra mobile, we're gonna have to pull down the crib mattress because uh, she also figured out how to pull herself to standing on me last night. So um, that's priority number two. And then number three, is a dresser and like shelf anchor so she can't pull things over on herself i think i think that's all i have to do i already have like plug covers and everywhere so that's good there are no hanging wires she can get tangled up in um yeah i think that's good enough i have extra time today i really 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 want to go through all of her baby clothes because i bought on Amazon because duh space bags um, I'll take a video of it later but she is the first grandchild of our family which means everyone just sends her stuff which thank you so much I'm so grateful it just means there's a lot of clothes to store <laughs> especially because she's grown out of so many of them because you're a little baby moose going to college tomorrow yes so we are just drowning in tiny laundry and tiny clothes that doesn't fit. So I was hoping I can start condensing some of it down in these lovely space bags to put away for baby number two. Maybe it's a girl, we'll find out, but I'm not pregnant, but someday, Lord willing. Say hi, say hi. Are you still in your jammies? It's Saturday, Mama. We don't care about real clothes. It's Saturday in quarantine. You don't even know what day it is. So since Charlie is able to push up and pretty much pull herself upright on her own now, I need to move the crib down to its lowest setting. Right now, it's on its highest setting. You can see there are three uh, options there. She really didn't sleep here until about a month ago, and even a month ago, she was not pushing herself up onto her arms. She could roll over places, um, but she really couldn't go anywhere. And all the course of a month, she is now a little mobile baby in her hot mess express I have to clean up. Yes. So I'm going to do that today. Um, and I think this needs a refresher too. So let's get new sheets. I cannot believe she is this big already. I cannot believe she went from basically only being able to do that to being able to crawl in like a month. It's insane how fast they grow. You told me more than once to show you my intention. My brain gets blocked at times, but now somehow I'll give you my attention. You've got to know that I person who understands all the clockwork of our romance you make me feel so alive always there in my mind but i just don't know i just don't know if i 
So we are now down at the bottom, almost bottom level. Um, I realized when undoing what I had done before and putting it back down further that this crib has more adjustments than I thought it did. Um, I realized that these arms that this is attached to swing both ways so they can go either down like I have them or up like I had them before. Um, which would mean that if I needed to, I could lower this level even further to be around like down here if I swung this arm up the other way so it hung like it had been before when I showed you guys earlier. So just kind of interesting thoughts. I wouldn't have figured that out unless I took it apart again because clearly I really wasn't that tuned into it when I was building it. But just in case you have a crib like this at home or you are thinking about having kids or you have a friend who is doing this, <laughs> maybe keep an eye out for this little assembly and you can show off some knowledge from me to you. And this is why I need to fix this so bad and why I had just moved her crib like a foot away from this so she couldn't reach it through the bars. When you buy stuff like this, they give you these. Uh, and as a first time mom who really didn't know any better, I thought that, oh, that's great. And granted, she didn't start sleeping up here till, like I said, like a month ago. Um, yeah, don't do this. A, they're really crappy and they just like fall off the wall. Uh, and B, little tiny hands can still grab this and pull this in. So you need something like this where you can hide the cord inside something that they can't get their hands on and it's pretty secure like if I pull on this it's really not coming off the wall a and I can't get that cover off B so I am going to run more of these up the wall and I'm actually going to move this up because when I look at her monitor now I see like two-thirds of her crib and if she's in either side I can't see her so we're gonna push that up hide the cord and move on. I don't know if I'll dance with the lights on. If you're gonna be moving on solo, wait a second, cause they're playing the best song. I'll be there if you reach out to me. Reach out to me. So these kits are super handy for hiding cords, especially for babies, I feel like, because they are this closed system. Um, essentially, you cut these rectangular pieces to the desired length you need. Thankfully, mine's super simple because it's just a straight line, but you can use these couplers to like run it around a corner and do all sorts of fancy things. They have a diagram of it right here. But I super recommend these if you're trying to um, just make a cord look better. I hate the look of dangling cords, especially like, off TVs and appliances and things. And you can paint these out if you wanted as well. I'm going to just leave it white because <laughs> most of her furniture is white in here anyway, so it doesn't really bug me. But just an FYI, if you are looking for a good option, these you can get on Amazon. she can't reach it and then this power strip will be under her bed and I'm gonna deal with these in a second so she won't be able to reach that either baby safe that was folded it's keeping her busy though so I guess go for it while I'm down here and she's made a mess of everything I figured I might as well go through her clothes 
and put away what doesn't fit her anymore because she went from like six month size clothes to nine and 12, mostly 12s in a month. I swear this thing like, <laughs> she just took off like a weed in like a month's time. And I have such a better visual on how much space I have under her crib for storage uh, that I feel like I should do it while I don't have the crib skirt on or the mattress and I can like see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna <laughs> take advantage. <laughs> what? While everything's taken apart. <laughs> what are you doing? You are funny. You're a ham bone. You're a ham bone. I'll go wherever you go. But I just don't know. I just don't know if I'll dance with the lights on. If you're gonna be moving on solo. Wait a second, cause they're playing the best song. I'll be there if you reach out to me. as a first time mom it's really easy to get down on yourself for everything that you don't know and it's stupid because you would have no reason to know unless you had a baby and so much of what you learn with babies and kids you learn from experience like before having a baby and having a crib and having all this I wouldn't have any idea how to put this together or even that I need to lower the mattress <laughs> like it's a dud now, but before, um, and I catch myself beating myself up on things like that all the time. Like, for instance, I didn't know that she couldn't have a mobile past five months old. And she had one in here for like a week at eight months old. And, you know, it's, it's stuff like that where, you know, no harm done and lesson learned, but it just goes to show you how much you learn and how much humility it takes to have kids and it's a really good thing um but dang there's always something to learn and always something to figure out and either way it's so worth it but if you're in my position where you're new to this and you're just figuring it out as you go because life changes so fast and there's no way you'd even know to look it up before it happens. I'm with you. We're fine. We're doing our best. Our babies are happy and healthy and loved. And they've got mamas and daddies who really care and want to do the best for them at the end of the day. So roll with it and we'll get through it. So I have the crib re-lowered to its lowest, lowest setting. So that should be good. If she figures out how to pull herself up standing in the crib, she won't be able to really do anything except hold herself up. She's about as tall as 
that side there, so she should be good to go there. The cords are hidden for the monitor, and I put the extension cord bar in this cord hider box. Since I'm lowering it even further, it was just a little bit too close um, so that she'd be able to reach it. So I put it in this box, the top clicks on, um, and you have to like depress a couple different tabs to get it to pop off. So she won't be able to get that off and have access to that or any of the plugs in there. So she'll be good to go there. The last piece is her dresser. It's pretty heavy, but we all know the horror stories of kids who pull dresses over on themselves. So I am going to anchor it. I'm going to be trying these today. The main reason was because of how much give I have in these straps here. Because the one plug on this wall is behind this dresser, there's a little bit of space from the back of the dresser to the wall um, just for that plug to sit in. So this gives me a little bit more play to anchor it safely but still be able to use that plug. Dresser is anchored, crib is lowered, and re-lowered. And her monitor cord is hidden and no longer able to be pulled into her crib. Even her extension cord is in a box. So, knock on wood, the skid should be accident-free for a little bit, at least until she learns to do something new. But either way, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the bell. I'm trying to put out uh, videos every week. Um, family, lifestyle, things that you might not think of to do with your kids because I know that's where I get a lot of my inspo from is from other moms um, either on Instagram and YouTube. Please follow me on Instagram at Shimmer and Shelves. The info is down in the description and on my end card and I will see you next time. Bye!